Hey Topsaw Nation, it's Jonathan here at Topsaw. This is a community of woodcutters. I know a lot of you like cutting wood out in the forest, some out in the mill, and some in the wood shop. So this channel is a community of people who just love trees and cutting wood. Uh, today I'm going to go over poison oak, what it is, how to recognize it, and then also how to make sure you don't get it. So this right here is poison oak. It's common throughout the whole western U.S. and other parts of the U.S. as well. It has an oil on it um, that gets on your skin and really gives you an awful rash. Some people get a lot worse than others. If you burn it like in a burn pile, the smoke it could get into your lungs and really give you a lot of respiratory problems. Some people don't even get poison oak and then some, I mean, just get it from looking at it. It comes in a lot of different colors depending on the season. We're in July right now, but it's already starting to um, dry out a little bit. So that's it there. It's kind of easy, recognizable lobes on the leaves right there, and there's kind of oily sheen to it. It grows in vines and out of the ground. So that's all poison oak there. And then it dries out pretty quick. It'll dry out quick too. So it'll leaf up, it'll also turn red. A lot of times the vines grow up into trees uh, and it's, you'll get it off the vine as much as you will off of the plant. Actually, there's some red right there. So you can see that's where you got in the fall colors. That's poison oak as well. The key is not to get it on you at all, to recognize it and stay far away from it. Uh, wear long pants and long sleeves. As soon as you get home or as soon as you can, take those clothes off. Wash them in a rigorous clothes washing cycle. And then you want to wash your hands really well with a lot of friction. And Here's some more of it. So it's green right there, yellowing, red, and even starting to die out right there. Or there, that's all poison oak. Okay, um, as soon as you get back, if you do get poison oak on your hands or arms, the best stuff is tech new. Um, but if you don't have this tech new, the next thing you could do is just use either like a um, auto mechanic hand cleaner. And the key is that it has to be really coarse and you really have to scrub it. So you gotta scrub it, not with your hand, but you really have to scrub it with a washcloth. So the way to get those oils off of you is to scrub with a lot of friction to get um, the oils off your skin. And you could actually even do this after you get the poison oak. So if you get poison oak on you and you're starting to get a rash, I would still uh, use a soap and a washcloth and scrub it really hard. And that will help get the oils off and decrease the rash. So you could use this or even Joy dish soap or Palm Olive dish soap, but it's really about the friction. All right, well, I sure hope that helped. This is Top Saw. Um, if you like the video, hit subscribe. I'd like to hear your comments below, and hopefully you won't get poisoned out. Thank you for watching.